so up to this point we've been discussing about models most especially neural networks which have been used to produce state-of-the-art results in object detection now we are going to look at the data sets which are used in training our neural network models specifically the yolo x model which we will be training shortly and so the very first thing we'll do is to understand our data set which has been made available to us on Kaggle and also how to build our own custom data set. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you never miss amazing content like this. In order to better understand the data set and better prepare this data set we're trying to use to train our model, we have to start by understanding the problem. That is, here we're trying to have a solution where when we upload an image into this platform, we are able to detect each and every position where we have this fashion item. Now let's take this off. You could click on this. You see you detect this other fashion item. You click on this. You have this other fashion item. Click on this. You see we have this other fashion item right here. So the kind of data set we're trying to prepare and build right here is one which contains images of fashion items and their positions in these different images. The data set we are going to be using in this course is this fashion data set provided by CLUAL. This data set could be downloaded from Kaggle and it's made available by Guyen Gear. Here we have the different classes. You could click right here. We see we have sunglasses, hat, jacket, shirt, pants, shorts, out to the shoe. So these are the different objects this data set takes into consideration. And then you could get down here, you have this JPEG images. You see we have these different images which make up the data set. And we also have these annotations right here. So you click on this one, you would have this here. So with these annotations, we have been given the different objects. Like for example, here we have a bag and the bag is found at this particular position. Now we are going to get into details of all this, but before getting into these details, let's note that this data set has been put in the Pascal VOC data set format. Now what's Pascal VOC? It is a data set comprising of 11,530 different images and this data set takes into consideration 20 different classes. Here you could have these different classes. So here you have an airplane, bicycle, a duck, a boat, bottle, bus, cat, chair, cow, and other other classes. Now it should be noted that this is a general purpose object detection data set as the kinds of objects detected here are very common day-to-day -day objects. And another even larger object detection data set is the Coco data set. So here this Coco data set has more than 200,000 images and 80 object categories so we have 80 different object classes here we could check out those classes here we have oh let's start from this one we have person bicycle car motorcycle and all these different 80 classes now clearly we could see the difference between this kind of general purpose data set like the coco data set and this fashion data set which is more specific to the domain of fashion and so since this is kind of like a custom data set, uh, the way many data set creators will like to structure the data set will be such that it follows the pattern of the general purpose data set like the Coco data set or the Pascal VOC data set. In this particular case, this data set follows the structure of the Pascal VOC data set. To the right, we have this Pascal VOC data set that is the 27, 2007 version. And then to the left, we have this our fashion data set. So here you'll notice we have the similar folders. We have annotations, image sets, JPEG images, segmentation class, and segmentation object. Now you should note that the Pascal VOC data set is actually not only an object detection data set, but also an object or a segmentation data set. And so that's why you have this folders for segmentation object, segmentation class. Now that said, we are only going to be making use of this three right here. So we have the annotations, image sets, and JPEG images. Now let's take a look at these JPEG images. Let's um, modify the view. You see here we have these different images. You see that this is 
uh, general purpose data set so in here we have uh, different images of common day-to-day -day scenes so yeah you could find any kind of image but in this data set we have here we have sp a specific type of images we have so you see we have so it's more is more specific to the domain of fashion which is uh, what we're working on in our current project now let's get back up uh, we have that and then here we have this annotations so in this annotations the others of the data set give us the exact positions of the different objects found in the different images so let's select for example this one so let's pick out this annotation which is one.xml here is it right here there's a file we've opened and then if you get back you will find its corresponding image you see here it's the same the same file name the difference is that here we have a gpg file and for the annotation we have an xml file so let's get back and then let's open this up okay so we have this image right here we're going to place it this way and then you should take note of at this position here, you're going to have the different locations like if i do this you see the, the position right here so look at that very carefully okay so that's it we have the image and we have its annotation so we have the some sort of output now here we have some information about the data set is voc 2007 the file name is given database the annotation the file the, the image the image id um the owner the name size now we have the size of this image you see that this annotation knows or gives us the size of the image so the width is 353 and the height is 500 you could verify that here so you see that this is exact that's true or oh, width 353 height 500 and then the depth 3 this depth is because we're dealing with an rgb image so it's a colored image and as we had seen in the previous sections these kinds of images have three different channels and this here represents those three channels if we had a black and white image then we would have a depth of one then the next thing here is we have our objects so we have the the like you see here we have this object see this object we have object and then the next we have another object so this tells us that we have actually two objects so you look at this object tag which is opened up and then it's closed to close it you have this slash right here so we have this to close this tag and then it's opened up again here and then it's been closed so yeah this shows us already that we have only two objects in this image and then for the dog or for the first object we it's a dog you see clearly there's a dog right here uh we're not going to take into consideration the pose we're not interested in that we're just interested in detecting that there's a dog and knowing its exact position now for the bounding box we have x min y min x max y max now what's x min is giving us 48 and then y min is 240 so let's get to the point 48 to 40 you should always you should look at this while we get into that point so here we have 60 to 41 let's get right up let's get to 48 so here we're trying to get to 48 we had 52 we'll go to the left we have that 48 now 48 to 40 we need to go up where to get to 40 and uh, we should have this point right here now the next is 195 371 195 371 we are on this oh uh, let's say we put it here so we have this point here now you notice that uh once you follow this you have this bounding box as if you draw a line if you link this up and then you stop at this point you go downward and then you go downward to stop at this point and then you go to the right you find that you have this bounding box you could repeat the same procedure for the person so here we have x min 8 12 so let's get to 8 12 the point 8 12 it's around this year 8 12 around this so we have that and then the next is 352 498 352 is around this 352 uh 498 we're practically at this point here so we are around this so that's it so you see that you could connect this way let's go downward and then you drag it downward and then to the right sorry and then you do this and then there you go so you see we have the two bounding boxes we have this bounding box and then we have this other 
bounding box for the person and then one other point you have to notice the way this coordinates are gotten so when we have for example that we have 48 to 40 and then for x that is we, we, we suppose that we're starting from this origin here. So this is our origin. So is this isn't our origin. Our origin is the top left corner as we have seen in the previous section. So here we have this origin right here. And then when we go in, we go we move to the right like 48 steps. So we go 48 pixels to the right. So we go this way uh, to the right and then we stop at this point. So you see we are around 48, 48 okay so and at this point so that's it you could check it out here so we go 48 pixels and then from here we have this point and then we also go 240 pixels downward so this is 240 pixels downward from here we go downward to 240 we go to this point here 240 so that's how we get this values and now the intersection of this two is actually this point because we've we've gone um 48 steps to the right and then 240 steps downwards to finally get to this point right here and so that's it now we understand how the pascal voc data set is being constructed and then we'll be able to better understand now this annotations in this our fashion data set which is uh, designed in such a way that it looks like the the same design or is designed to look like the pascal voc data set so here we have the pascal voc data set and then here we have this r fashion data set now let's open this up let's have this one.xml could open this up and you see here we have something very similar you see we have still our tax object and then let's scroll up we have for this one let's open this image up so yeah let's have this um yeah let's have this here as usual we have some metadata and then we have the size 400 600 let's open this up you see here we have 400 600 and then we have different kinds of objects so here we have a bag and we could check this out you see there's a bag now the the position is 215 348 for the x mean y mean so let's get to that point let's take this here 215 348 so let's go slightly to the right and then downward 348 so we should be around this year okay so this is this annotation we have it some, something around this and then for this one let's change this color so it looks clearer for this one we have 336 419 336 we are on this 490 is around this so we have that so here is this annotation so this is our bounding box now you could also modify this that we're going to see that shortly where we're going to create our own custom data sets like this so uh, if you're not satisfied with the fact that this authors consider this to be the portion uh, which contains a bag, then you could maybe say, okay, uh, I want it to be this way. So if you want it to be this way, then you modify this file. So if you, you modify this file such that the X main, Y main positions are going to change such that they now take up the values 200. You could take it from here. So the values are 209, 297. So you could change it from uh these current values to 209 200 and uh, uh 296 yeah 296 so you could modify these values if you're not uh, satisfied with this because maybe you feel like the bag is all this with a handle and not just this portion right here for the next object we could see we have a dress let's scroll we have this we have bag we have dress and we have shoe okay so we, have, we actually have three objects here so we have a dress we have the next object address most probably this so we have this dress right here and then the next is going to be shoe so we have also a shoe so it should be this two now what you could also do is um separate this two so you could create a bounding box like this like this first bounding box for this shoe and then another one for this other shoe 
so that it could be separate now another thing we could do let's 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 actually check on this so let's get back we have 215 504 so if you look at this here we are on that so this around this this is our x mean and then our x max y max 273 575 it's around this 273 575 it's around this so as we as we had uh seen already or as we had suggested you can decide to split this off and consider this two as two different shoes and then you could also add another class that is a belt so you see here uh, there is no belt in our list of classes so if you scroll up here we do not have a belt so you could add a belt anyway we are going to see how to create this kinds of data sets uh on your own so you could build a data set of or you could take use this one as some base and then uh, from this base add this data set so that we don't have only this data available to us to train our models